together shall love, shall their joys and pains. The Creator offers to them the privilege and responsibility of parenthood, and it joins them that they support each other in this sacred opportunity with all affection and concerns that their children might see in their marriage bond. The love which comes from God and which offers hope to all. These two who have therefore traveled separate ways to come now to be made one, if any here have gathered can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together in marriage, declare it now, or else forever hold your peace. If either of you know any reason that you should not be bonded, share now, or forever hold your peace. Let us pray. Father of love, who has brought these two together to be made one in holy marriage, all thy servants here assembled now, pray thee to bless them in every good and perfect blessing. May their love never cease to grow in character and fullness. May they have the strength to share each other's joys and sorrows, continually bearing one another's burdens. May their temptations be few, and may they always be ready to forgive each other, even as thou, Christ, does forgive us. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ, who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassers, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Jesus, I pray this. William, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy state of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and health, forsaking all others, keep you only to her, so as long as you both shall live? I will. Anne Marie, Will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and health, and forsake all others, keep you only to him, so as long as you both shall live? Who give this woman to be married to this man? There. Oh God, don't lose the rings. <laughs> yes! Save, good save. Okay. Oh, look how you're happy. Okay, I, William, take you, Anne Marie, to be my wife. I promise before God and these friends. I promise before God and these friends to be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. To share you in plenty and in want. To share you in plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And to join with you so that together. And join with you so that together. We may serve God and others. As long as we shall both live. As long as we shall both live. God be my help. <laughs> Anne Marie, please. I am Marie. I am Marie. Take you, William. Take you, William. To be my husband. Be my husband. I promise before God and these friends. I promise before God and these friends. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. To share you with me. To share with you in plenty and in want. To share with you in plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health.
symbolize your pledge of the faithful fulfillment of your marriage vow. Rings are an outward invisible sign, an inward and spiritual bond that unites this man and this woman in endless love. I give this ring to you as a token and covenant made between us this day. I give this ring to you as a token and from the covenant. And I pledge of our mutual love. In the name of the Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> I give this ring to you as a token of our covenant. May between us this day, between us this day and, a and a pledge of our mutual love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Since Anne Marie and William have consented to join together in marriage and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and have pledged their mutual love to each other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving of rings, and by joining hands, I declare that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The God of love has joined you as husband and wife. Go now in peace, trusting that the love which you know will forever make you one. Let us pray. Holy Father in heaven, you give me the blessing just to perform this wedding with my friends, Anne-Marie and Bill. There is no greater bond, Lord. They are Christians, they love you, and they're trying to bring their lives together. May they be totally absorbed with each other, not to look at another, not to even concern with another. In your eyes, Father, let them prosper. I say this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord give up his conscience upon you and give you peace. Mr. Hewitt, you may kiss your butt. Oh! <laughs>